In this video, I'm going to talk about dividing 3 to 4 digit numbers by tens, hundreds, or thousands. So let's say we're going to divide this 500 by 10. So this is how we usually do it. So this is what you call a long division. So we have 500 inside a box by 10. And so we divide 50 by 10 because we cannot divide 5 by 10. So we're going to use the whole the two digit 50. So it will be 5. 5 times 10 is 50. And then we divide, we subtract. 50 minus 50 is 0. And then we bring down the remaining digit, which is 0. So 0 divided by 10 is 0. And then 0 times 10 is 0. So if you subtract 0 by 0, it's also 0. So the answer is 50. So let me show you a shorter way to do that. So we have 500 divided by 10. Then we will cancel a pair of zeros. So you can do this if the zeros that you are canceling is not in between non-zeros. So as you can see, the zeros are just at the rightmost. Then the, when you are canceling zeros, it must be by pair. So if the zero doesn't have a pair, then do not cancel. So what's left is 50 divided by 1, which is 50. And that's the answer. So another example, we have a four-digit number, 2,900 divided by 10. So we cancel a pair of zeros. So what's left is 290 divided by 1. So any number divided by 1 is just itself. So the answer is 290. So another example, we have a four-digit number, 1,700, and then divided by 100. So we can cancel a pair of zeros, then another pair. And so what's left is 17 divided by 1 which is 17, and that's the quotient. So let's have another example. 1,505 divided by 10. Now we might think that we can cancel these zeros, but observe the zero at the left side, it is in between non-zeros. So we cannot do that because there is a 5 at the right side. And so let's just remove this and do the long division. So 15 divided by 10 is 1. So 1 times 10 is 10. And subtract. 15 minus 10 is 5. And then bring down 0. So 50 divided by 10 is 5. 5 times 10 is 50. So subtract, it will be 0. Then bring down 5. 5 divided by 10 is 0 so 0 times 10 is 0 then subtract 5 minus 0 will be 5 so there's a remainder 5 so the quotient is 150 remainder 5 now how about this 6020 divided by 100 so let's cancel a pair of zeros we have this then you might think to cancel this but look at the zero at the left in between six and two it's in between non-zero so we cannot do that so let's cancel or remove that cancellation so what's left is only one zero that is being cancelled so what's left is 602 divided by 10 so let's divide that and so 60 divided by 10 is 6 6 times 10 is 60 60 minus 60 is 0 and then bring down 2 so 2 divided by 10 is 0 and 0 times 10 is 0 so 2 minus 0 is 2 so there's a remainder 2 but here's the uh, trick when it, there is a remainder 2 so remember that we cancelled 1 0 but then if there is a remainder you have to put back what you have cancelled. If you have cancelled one zero, then you have to put it back to the remainder. So the remainder is two, but you have to put back the zero that was cancelled. 
to the remainder. So the answer is 60 remainder 20. Another example, 2600 divided by 1000. So you can cancel these pairs of zeros. And then what's left is 26 divided by 10. So let's divide this. 26 divided by 10, it will be 2. 2 times 10 is 20. Then subtract 26 minus 20, it will be 6. So we have a remainder 6. But then remem remember that we have canceled two zeros. So we are going to put it back to the remainder. So the answer is 2 remainder 600. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.